Strategy Management Series Video Number 59 Strategy Formulation Step 5, SWOT Analysis Welcome back to the Ready MBA series on strategy management. In our previous videos, we introduced the three processes of strategy management that guide organizations in achieving their goals and objectives, strategy formulation, strategy implementation, and strategy control. We also introduced the eight-step framework used in the strategy formulation process and covered steps one through four which addressed mission, vision, values, strategic intent, external and internal analysis. In today's video, we will explore another important step of the strategy formulation process, SWOT analysis. This analysis helps us identify key factors that will shape our strategies. Let's get started. The SWOT analysis begins after we've already mapped and prioritized our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats from the internal and external analysis steps. Now, our planning team is ready to propose strategies based on these factors. The next step is to propose strategies that leverage the internal strengths, address the weaknesses, capitalize on the opportunities, and mitigate the threats. There are four types of strategies that can be formulated based on these factors. So, Strengths Opportunities, WO, Weaknesses Opportunities, ST, Strengths Threats, and WT, Weaknesses Threats, Strategies. Let's take a quick look into each one of them. 1. Strengths Opportunities Strategies. So strategies focus on utilizing internal strengths to capitalize on external opportunities. These strategies aim to maximize the organization's competitive advantage and exploit favorable market conditions. For example, if a company has a strong brand reputation, strength, and identifies a growing market segment, opportunity, it could develop a marketing campaign to target that specific segment and gain a larger market share. Another example would be if a company has a high-quality product line, strength, and identifies an opportunity in growing health and wellness trends. A possible SO strategy in this case would be to leverage the company's high-quality product line to capitalize on the growing health and wellness trend. Develop and market a new line of health-conscious and organic products that cater to the increasing consumer demand for healthier options. This strategy takes advantage of the company's existing expertise in producing quality goods while aligning with the current market trend towards healthier lifestyles. Two Weaknesses Opportunities Strategies Woe strategies involve addressing internal weaknesses by taking advantage of external opportunities. These strategies aim to overcome internal limitations and leverage favorable market conditions. For instance, if a company identifies a new emerging market, opportunity, and acknowledges its weak distribution network, weakness, it could invest in improving its distribution channels to reach and serve that new market effectively. Another example is a company that has a limited online presence and e-commerce capabilities, weaknesses, but that identifies rapid growth in e-commerce sales, opportunity. A potential WO strategy would be to allocate resources to improve and expand the company's online sales platform. This includes developing a user-friendly website, enhancing online shopping features, and optimizing the checkout process to provide a seamless customer experience. By executing this WO strategy, the company can transform its weaknesses in online presence and e-commerce capabilities into strengths. It seizes the opportunity presented by the rapid growth in e-commerce sales and positions itself to capture a larger share of the online market, ultimately enhancing its overall competitiveness and revenue. 3. Strengths Threat Strategies Same strategies focus on using internal strengths to mitigate external threats. These strategies aim to defend the organization's market position and protect against potential risks. For example, if a company has a strong research and development capability, strength, and faces intense competition, threat, it could invest in continuous innovation and product development to maintain a competitive edge in the market. Another example is of a company that has strong supply chain management, strength, and that anticipates rising costs of raw materials as a threat. To mitigate the threat of rising costs of raw materials, the company can employ an ST strategy that leverages its strength in supply chain management to identify and establish relationships with alternative suppliers for key raw materials. 
By diversifying the supplier base, the company can reduce its dependency on a single source and potentially negotiate better pricing terms. Alternatively, the company can utilize the strength in supply chain management to negotiate favorable pricing agreements with existing and new suppliers. By implementing ST strategies, the company can effectively address the threat of rising raw material costs while capitalizing on its existing strength in supply chain management. This proactive approach ensures cost stability and maintains profitability even in the face of external challenges. 4. Weaknesses Threat Strategies WT strategies involve minimizing weaknesses and avoiding potential threats. These strategies aim to address internal weaknesses and protect the organization from external threats. For instance, if a company identifies a disruptive technology, threat, and acknowledges its inadequate digital infrastructure, weakness, it could prioritize upgrading its technology systems to stay competitive and adapt to the changing market landscape. Another similar situation would be a company with limited digital marketing expertise, weakness, that identifies increased competition from digital native brands, threat. A potential WT strategy would be to invest in training programs and workshops to upskill the existing marketing team in digital marketing techniques and strategies. This will help the company build its in-house digital marketing capabilities. Similarly, the company could conduct a thorough analysis of digital native competitors to understand their marketing tactics, target audience, and strategies. Use this information to adapt and refine the company's own digital marketing approaches. By implementing these WT strategies, the company can mitigate the threat posed by digital native competitors while simultaneously addressing its internal weakness and in digital marketing expertise. This strategic approach enables the company to become more competitive in the digital landscape and better position itself for success in the evolving market. When proposing these strategies, it's crucial to align them with our company's goals, resources, and capabilities. We need to assess their feasibility, risks, and potential impact. It's also important to prioritize and select the strategies that have the highest potential for success and alignment with our vision. While the SWOT analysis is widely used, it's important to remember its limitations. It doesn't show us how to achieve a competitive advantage on its own. It's merely the starting point of a conversation about implementing the proposed strategies and considering cost-benefit considerations. Additionally, the SWOT analysis is a snapshot in time. As circumstances change, we must review and adapt our strategies accordingly. We should also be cautious not to overemphasize a single factor and consider the interrelationships among various factors. Lastly, as a planning team, we need to take a holistic perspective, embrace diverse perspectives, and have a realistic assessment of our strengths and weaknesses. It is also important to make sure that any proposed strategy from the SWOT analysis takes into consideration the guidance and vision provided by senior leadership through the strategic intent. In case of misalignment between proposed strategies and the strategic intent of the organization, they should be properly justified and discussed with senior leaders to ensure strategic convergence. These discussions may lead to an adjustment of the strategic intent, of the proposed strategies, or of both. Strategy formulation is an iterative process that must enable top-down guidance, such as the vision provided by the strategic intent, to be validated and supported by bottom-up findings and analysis. Remember, strategies may need to be adapted or revised over time. And that's the SWOT analysis in a nutshell. It helps us generate feasible alternative strategies based on our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like this video, comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos on business strategy. In the next video, we will explore through a fictional example how a company would execute the SWOT analysis during their strategy formulation process. Stay tuned for our next episode. See you soon!